Thank you, folks. That's, I'll just move Posh Spice out of the way, then we'll crack on with the show. That's very nice. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Nice to be in Melbourne. You could do with a few more cafes, though, don't you think? <laughs> what is it, one each you've got now? You just <laughs> trash your kitchens and went, fuck it, I'm not washing up ever again. I live with a Melbourne girl no, now, that's very nice. Melbourne girls are very nice. Yes, we live together, not without difficulties when you live with someone, is it? You know, for a bloke not being able to find anything in the house ever again, obviously. You know, put a sandwich down, it's got its own box in the attic five minutes later. <laughs> All my conversations now start with, where's my, have you seen, and what the fuck happened to? <laughs> As in, where's my shoes, have you seen my wallet, and what the fuck happened to me will to live? And then there's the cushions, thousands of cushions come into the house. What is it with women and cushions? The bedroom turns into a boudoir. If my girlfriend gets in first, all the cushions go on my side. She's going, are you in yet? I go, no, someone's been dry stone walling on my side. I've got 20 foot of cushion to go before I reach blanket. And it's not easy for women to live with men, is it, girls? Not easy. No. Living with someone who expects extra credit for any tiny act of thoughtfulness. <laughs> you may well have been cleaning the house from top to bottom, but who bought you a Kit Kat last February? <laughs> you know? Or sharing the loo with someone goes to the toilet in the middle of the night and basically pees by sound. <laughs> Listening for water on water. <laughs> Not water on tile. <laughs> then you find the lid was down. <laughs> Bloody feng shui. I have to go and dry myself off on the doona now. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. We wouldn't do that. Not if there's a cushion handy anyway. <laughs> oh, ooh, one of your fluffy ones, love. I like them. They're really absorbent. Because <laughs> it's not how sexy, not how attractive, not how beautiful your partner is. It's whether they make you laugh. Isn't that true? And my girlfriend fell off the bus the other day, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Hilarious. She said, why didn't you catch me? Well, it's difficult to catch you and piss myself laughing <laughs> at the same time. But I feel your act of public humiliation has made the relationship stronger. <laughs> so thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for listening to me, supporting a very good cause. Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the umbilical brother.